Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm going to do another post of uh, seated chair yoga. Um, how are y'all doing? <laughs> this is like our new normal now and uh, it doesn't feel too normal to me not to see you, not to be uh, closer to my family, especially my kids. Uh, thank God for all this technology because at least I could FaceTime, um, I could make these videos. So I'm learning how to embrace technology a little more than I used to. So that's a good thing. It probably needed to happen and um, be sort of being forced into it. But um, it's good. It's a good thing. Learning new things is a good thing. <laughs> so stick with that. If, if new things are coming up for you, in your life now that you are home and you're challenged in some ways, um, you know, look into those interests that you've always had that maybe you never had time for. So maybe really starting that art project or painting a piece of furniture as I did last week. Um, embroidery, needlepoint, sewing, everybody's making masks, um, paint, listen to beautiful music and get out in nature. So I feel like nature is really talking to us now because uh, with fewer cars and boats and trains and planes, I just feel like nature is um, really rejoicing in the quiet, um, of the quieting of human nature. So um, it's been interesting to watch. I, and I'm, I'm really enjoying that because I love the outdoors. Uh, so let's come to a seat and take a moment to well, bring yourself forward in your chair sitting on the edge of the chair. So we don't want the back of the chair supporting our backs. We want to be able to hold our spines up tall ourselves. And then lift, energetically lift the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. So you just like a sense of pushing your feet into the floor and lifting the uh, spine up. So we can imagine creating space between each one of the vertebrae. And then rest your hands on your lap and close your eyes and breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Take two, the time to observe your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. scan of your body and notice where you might be feeling tension. Maybe you feel it in your jaw. Maybe you don't mean to, but at night you're clenching your jaw. So soften your jaw. Relax your face, especially the space in between your eyebrows. Relax your shoulders. And then focus on your lower belly. As you breathe in, imagine filling up your belly with breath instead of your lungs. And then exhale at the bottom of your exhale, or just when you think all of the breath is out of your lungs, pull your belly button in towards your spine. So you empty out your lungs completely. And take another breath in. Exhale through the nose. Breathe in again. Exhaling out. So it's those extensions of the exhale that really do help us calm our bodies, um, lower our blood pressure, drop the heart rate. So we're activating the vagus nerves. Breathing in again and exhaling out. So simple breathing in and out like this can physically um, help you reduce your stress, reduce your anxiety. Um, and if, we're, if we are living in a heightened state of stress and anxiety, we're actually setting our bodies up um, to be hospitable or to be a host for viruses, not just this virus that's going around, 
but other illnesses. So this has been known for a long, long time. And it's now interesting for me that more and more people are talking about this now, really talking about it. So we are paying more attention to the importance of meditation, of quieting our minds, of breathing deeply. So this is so interesting to me and I'm so happy about it because I think it'll be becoming more of a practice for um, the general public, for more people. So I will um, cue you always as I do to breathe in and out and remind you to breathe. But remember that wherever you are starting today is where you are. So you can't think about where you were in your past or where you think you should be in your future. But right now in this moment, meet your body where it is today. So if that means your inhales and exhales are shorter, that's okay. They're going to get longer as you practice diaphragmatic breathing. So I'm gonna play a little music while we um, move on. And we're going to listen to Tom Coletti, Yoga is Union. So I'll just start that right now. Good. So we're coming to our seat. We're lengthening our spines, getting nice and tall. And also when we are sitting up tall, we create more room for our ribcage to move, for our lungs to expand. So creating that beautiful um, alignment for the breath to come in and out. Let's start with the neck. Take your hands down, slide them, your fingertips towards the floor. So you're sliding your shoulders down. And then inhale and look up. And then exhale and tuck your chin. Breathe in. Breathe out. And inhale, lift up. And exhale and tuck. Good. And then come back to neutral and drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Reach away with your left hand. And then nod or draw your chin in towards your chest. And then let the top of the head roll back. So it's sort of a side nod coming forward and back. And do that three times. Good, and then ear to shoulder. And then turn your head, look down at the floor. And then go ear to shoulder, breathe in, come up to center. Exhale to the other side. Reach away with your right hand, breathe in. Exhale. And then draw your chin in and roll the top of the head back. And nod three times. And then ear to shoulder again. And then look down at the floor, breathe in. Breathe out. And then ear to shoulder and then come all the way back up to center. And inhale. And exhale, turn, look over your right shoulder. As you do this, pull your shoulder blades together and turn your head as far as it can go. Inhale. And exhale, start turning your head to the left. Look over your shoulder, breathe in. Breathe out. And then come back to center, good. And then inhale your hands over your head. Lace your fingers together and take your hands behind your head. Gently press your head into your hands like you're leaning back into a pillow. Press your elbows back and then slide your shoulders down. And take a breath in. And then exhale, tuck your chin. And drop your elbows. Keep the rest of your spine long. Just stretch the back of your neck. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then inhale, press your head back into your hands. Press your elbows back. And then press your palms up towards the ceiling, straightening through the arms, lengthening through the arm bones. And take a nice breath in. Exhale, start to press your feet into the floor and round your spine. Press your hands towards me. And then inhale, grow tall again. Good, and then exhale, roll down. Inhale, come up. 
And then exhale, unlace your fingers. Take your hands wider. And come into a gentle back bend, looking up, breathing in. And then exhale, round your spine again and draw your hands in. Inhale, expand. And then exhale, contract, starting with your belly. Pull your belly button in, rounding your spine. And then inhale, come back up. Exhale, bend your elbows and drop your fingertips down. And then lift up. And lower. And lift. Then extend your arms out, turn your pinkies forward, and then thumbs. So just getting that nice rotation through your shoulders, ball and socket joints, and then palms down, make some circles here. Start to make your circles a little bigger. Breathe in. Breathe out. If you're new to this and your shoulders get heavy, just lower your arms and take a little shoulder roll. And then return to the circles when you're ready. Breathe in. Make your circles bigger. And then your full range of motion. And then go smaller. Back to center, turn your palms up. Inhale overhead. And exhale and lower all the way down. And take a little shoulder roll. And then take a cleansing breath in. And exhale lower. And inhale, hands overhead. And bend your elbows. And then reach up across at the wrists and lower down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Turn to bent elbows and drop your fingertips down. And then with an open hand, bring your hands in, make a fist, press them out. Open, make a fist. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Excellent, then palms up, inhale overhead. And exhale, lower all the way down. Take a couple of shoulder rolls. And then shrug your shoulders to your ears. Breathe in. And then give me a let it out. Breathe in. Good. And shake your arms up. Inhale your hands overhead. And bring your hands down through center. So press your hands together, the heels of the hands particularly, and then pull your shoulder blades together. So we're opening up the chest, breathe in, and then press your right hand into your left hand and take a little twist. Keep your elbows lifted. When you get as far as you can go, just turn your head over your left shoulder and breathe in. Breathe out. And then start pushing your left hand into your right. Make your way around to the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And come back to center. Lace your fingers together and drop your elbows. And roll your wrists around. So you're pressing one hand into the other. And then lift your right elbow up. Pull your left hand up. Make a figure eight with your arms. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. And then coming back with your palms up towards the ceiling. Let's bring the thumb to the pad of the pinky finger and then each finger into the center of the palm, one at a time. Reverse. Do it again. So just notice the tendons of the wrist lifting, working. So if you have arthritis, 
Good practice for the wrist and the fingers. Then turn your palms down. Take hold of the left fingertips and draw them back. Inhale. Exhale. And then go to the other side. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then we'll just rotate through the wrist as you lower your hands back down. And then roll through your shoulders. And then inhale your hands overhead and uh, separate your feet a little bit wider. We're going to reach up on one side, pull down on the other. We're going to use the legs. You're going to push your feet into the floor to help pull you back up to center. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhaling, exhaling. Come back to center, inhale. And exhale, bring your hands back down alongside your body. And we'll do the opposite. Reach down, slide your elbow up towards the ceiling, and then switch, inhale, lift. Reach, reach, reach towards the floor. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, working the core, working the side body. Inhale and exhale. Come back up to center, inhale overhead. Exhale and lower. And then inhale, lift your hands up over your head, lace your fingers together, take your hands behind your head, or on your shoulders. We're moving on with some more core work. So taking the right elbow towards your left knee, come back to center and switch sides. Breathe in, breathe out. Sit up tall in between the lifts, breathing, exhaling. Center, inhale, exhale, the way down. Beautiful. Let's take a little twist here. Right hand on the outside of the left knee, left hand behind you, supporting your spine. Breathe in. And exhale, start at the base of your spine, rotating around. Bring your head around last. Look over your left shoulder. And inhale. And exhale. So for a little extra neck stretch, you can stay in your twist and just turn your head towards me and lower that right, right shoulder if it's lifted a little. Inhale and drop your ear towards your shoulder. Take a breath in and breath out. And then look forward again. Inhale, exhale. Go one more time back into your twist. Take another inhale, and exhale, let it go, come back to center. Moving on to the other side, left hand on the outside of the right knee, right hand behind you, inhale, exhale. You can shift through your hips if you like, drawing the right hip back, left hip forward, initiating your twist from the base of your spine, and then turning your head, breathe in. Exhale, inhale, look forward, make sure that left shoulder is dropped, and then lower your ear towards your shoulder. Feel that nice stretch on the right side of the neck, inhale, and then exhale, look forward again, breathe in, exhale, twist one more time, then inhale, and exhale, let it go, come back to center. Good job. 
And let's go back a little bit in the chair and take your hands and maybe hold on to the frame of the chair. I want you to inhale, draw your right knee up towards your chest and exhale, reach out. Bring the knee back in and set it down. Other side, in, out, in, and down. Breathe in, exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Work in the hips, the quads, knees. Push your heel out. Try to keep your foot flexed. Breathe in and exhale. Good. Breathing in. Set the feet down, and then slide forward again in the chair. Extend your right leg out, spread your toes, reach for the floor, curl the toes, bend your knee, flex. Take that a couple of times. We want to try to flatten the top of the foot as well, keeping that flexibility um, in our ankles and the top of the feet. And then straighten your leg, flex your ankle, breathe in. Exhale and fold forward into your hamstring stretch. Letting your head go, letting the weight of the head help to assist you in lengthening your hamstring, your spine. Breathe in, breathe out. And then inhale, start to come up, and as you do, bend your knee. Draw it in, circle your shin, and pull the knee in towards your chest. And then push out, resisting, using your arms. Draw in again, push out. Inhale, exhale, good. And then we'll pull the knee in, and we'll take the knee out to the sides. We're opening up the hip. Take your left hand over to the left, turn your head, look over your left thumb, breathe in. Good, and then bring it back to center. And then take both arms out. Inhale, and exhale, draw your knee out to the side, bring it back. Good. Work in the hip flexors and the hips, and then bring it back in. Lift up, cross your ankle over your knee, and sit up tall. Inhale, exhale, lean forward. Stretching the outer hip, breathe in. And then inhale, come all the way up. So continue to cross your right leg over your left. We'll come into our seated eagle pose, extending the arms out. Let's cross the left arm over the top of the right. So try to cross above the crease of the elbow below you and then wrap the hand. So back to back or palm to palm or hands on your shoulders. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, draw your elbows in. Round your spine, drop your head. Stretch in its face in between your shoulder blades. And then inhale, lift up again. This time, lifting your elbows higher, looking up towards the ceiling, breathe in. And then exhale, bring it in again. Inhale, this time, unfurl your arms and uncross your legs. Come back to the beginning, breathe in. Exhale, extend the left leg out. Spreading the toes, pointing, reaching, curling, and bending. Breathing in. So the heel does stay in one place. We just bend the knee, flex the ankle, reach. Good. And then extend the leg, flex the ankle, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, drop your head, breathe. And let it go, exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, start to come back up and bring your knee into your chest, circling the shin, and then push out. Pull in and push out, and breathe and push out. Good, and then we'll bring it in and open up the hip, Turn your head over the right hand, inhale, 
Exhale, come back to center. And cross your ankle over your knee, sit up tall, inhale. Exhale, lean forward. And stay with the breath. And then come back up and continue to cross your leg over the right leg, extend the arms out. This time crossing the right over the top of the left, wrapping into eagle arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, elbows in, round your spine, drop your head. Inhale, lift up. This time lifting the elbows higher, breathe in. Exhale, draw elbows in. Inhale, reaching up, unfurling, uncrossing, and coming back to center. Beautiful. Take an in-breath. And exhale, lower. So we'll keep the feet hip distance apart, and we'll do a couple of our um, seated sun citations. I'm just going to grab my block. So um, I hope some of you at home have a block. The block is just helping you bring up the floor a little higher. So um, I'm going to have mine uh, at this level. And we're going to start forward folding and strengthening our lower back, our bellies, our spines in general. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, tilting forward. Breathe in. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, start to pull your belly in and lengthen your spine. Come back to that nice, flat, strong spine. And then drop your head again. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands down through center. Breathe in. Exhale, come forward. Take another inhale. Exhale, drop your head, let it go. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hold. Inhale, arms come up and out. Down through center. Breathe in. Exhale, come forward. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring your right hand into center, either on the floor or on your block. And inhale your left arm up towards the ceiling. So if you want, you can press your arm into your knee and your knee into your arm, assisting you in deepening your twist. If that feels good to you, breathe in. Breathe out. come back down and we'll switch sides. Inhaling the right arm up. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Exhale, come back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, take your arms up and over. Coming down through center. Take an in-breath. Exhale more. Good. Let's come up uh, to standing. I'm just going to move my chair a little bit forward. My block on the chair and stand behind me. So let's start with standing with our feet hip distance apart. Placing our hands on the chair and then lifting up onto our toes. And then rock back, lift your toes up. Take a couple of those, rocking back and forth. And then maybe using your hands to counterbalance. Back and forth, breathe in. Good, and then coming up on the toes. Dropping the tailbone, turning your palms out, breathe in. Good. And then sink your heels slowly. Let's do one more set of that, those. Toes, heels, toes, and heels. Rocking. Working the feet, working the toes, strengthening the ankles. And then come up out of the toes, pull your belly in, turn your palms out, inhale, 
Oops. Ah. <laughs> and then lower down. So throwing ourselves off balance is part of finding your balance, right? I always say that because that's part of it. As we age, we want to have the ability to um, correct ourselves if we lose our balance. That's part of it. So anyway, shake out the legs <laughs> and um, come back to feet hip distance apart and step your right foot back. So we'll come into um, straight, keeping our legs straight and extending our arms out in front of us. Taking some twists. Inhale, take your left hand behind you. Breathe in and then exhale. And then inhale, left arm up and over. Come back to center. Same side, inhale, left arm behind you. Exhale. And then left arm up and over. One more twist, twist, inhale, exhale, inhale, up and over, and come back to center. So let's lower the hands to the chair for a minute, bend your left knee, and step your right foot back a little further, and now bend your left knee, and reach your right heel to the floor. So get that nice lengthening, that stretch through the calf, and then inhale your hands overhead to warrior one. Slide the shoulder blades down, breathe in, exhale, lower your hands, inhale, straighten your front leg, take your heel off the floor, and then lower back down, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, Good. then inhale, keep your hands lifted, and bend your knee again, lower your heel, and then bend your elbow. Bring your elbows together and straighten your front leg. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, push back. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, good. And then opening up, returning your hands overhead. Good. Take your arms out towards the sides of the room and then Cross your right arm over the top of the left and wrap, just as we did earlier in eagle arms. Inhale, lift up. If you can lift the elbows up and go into a little back bend, try that, and then draw your elbows in and round your spine. Inhale, become very aware of your feet. Keep pushing your feet into the floor. Lift your elbows up, exhale, elbows to chest. And then inhale, unfurl your arms. Use your arms to help step forward. Good, breathe in. Exhale out. Step your left foot back. Straight legs first. We'll do some standing twists, arms in front of us. Inhale the right arm behind. Exhale. Inhale, right arm up and over. And again, breathe in. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, and exhale. Bend your right knee, step your left foot back further, and take a moment to feel grounded. Lowering your left heel to the floor, Feeling both feet evenly pressing into the floor. Slide those shoulders down, breathe in. Exhale. And then lowering the hands. Inhale, lift up, straighten your front leg and lower. Inhale, lift your heel up off the floor as you straighten the leg and lower. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And lift your hands overhead, bend your knees, sink your heel, breathe in. Then bending your elbows, straighten your front leg, bring your elbows together. Inhale, open up the chest, exhale, push back. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, good. And then we'll come forward, take your hands overhead, inhale. 
Then next, extend the arms out towards the sides of the room, cross the left arm over the right, and wrap. We could also have hands on your shoulders. Inhale, lift. Exhale, elbows in, round your spine. Stare right through your hands to the floor. And then the same thing on your way up. Stare right through the hands to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, elbows in. And then inhale, unfurling the arms. Using your arms to help you step forward. Beautiful. Take an in-breath. And exhale. Bring your hands to the chair and walk your feet back and come into your chair dog. So bend your knees as much as you need to to sit your hips way back. Get your spine parallel with the floor and take a breath in. Open up your shoulders, exhale, breathe in, breathe out. And then start to drop your tailbone a little bit and roll up and walk forward. Okay, I'm just going to move my chair out of the way for a moment. And we're going to do a little breath work. So we're going to come... Um, standing feet hip distance apart. And uh, we've done this breath work uh, in class many times. So it, it looks sort of like this. You're inhaling your hands over your head and you're gonna exhale, you're gonna bend the knees and lift your hands up towards the ceiling and then you're gonna come all the way up, breathe in. Exhale. And what happens is there's sort of a natural pumping of the legs. As you inhale, come up, exhale, lower. But you will find your own rhythm, and you can work it slowly, or if you like that feeling of the pumping of the legs, and inhale, come up, exhale, breathe in. Okay, one more. Inhale, and then lower your hands down. Take an in-breath. Exhale, lower. And breathe in. And then bring your hands down through center. You can move your feet closer together if you like. We're going to sit back. We're going to breathe in. And then exhale, sit back into our chair pose or fierce pose, ukatasana. Pull the belly in, <clears throat> and then inhale your arms up overhead. Find your breath. Exhale, push your feet into the floor and come all the way up. And add a little back bend here, and then lower down. Breathe in. Exhale, sit back. Lift your gaze. Lift your arms, inhale, exhale, and then inhale, come all the way up, exhale down through center, breathe in, exhale, sit back, inhale, reach up, exhale, stay, inhale, come all the way up, good, and then we'll lower down through center, beautiful. And then let's open up the hand, uh, feet, hip distance apart again. And breathe in, hands overhead. And exhale down. Okay. So we're going to turn our chairs towards us, the seat of the chair. And we'll do a little cat cow, some spinal waves. So bring your hands onto the seat of the chair, walk your feet back, get the feet underneath your hips. And Inhale and sink your chest, lift your tailbone, look forward, breathe in. And then exhale, start with your belly. Pull the belly in, round your spine. You can straighten the legs here. Inhale, back bend. And exhale, round. And inhale. And exhale. And then find neutral. Breathe in, extend your spine. And then let's bring that left foot into center a little bit. 
to support our weight. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Breathing in. And then drawing the knee in towards the head. Inhale, lengthen. So you can work here, knee to nose, or you could extend your left arm as well and draw the elbow and the knee into center. Inhale, out. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, reach and hold. Find your balance, breathe. And then exhale, lower your hand, lower your foot. And take a cleansing breath in. Exhaling. Wiggle the right foot into center, extend the left leg. Breathing in. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right arm. Lifting up. Exhale, elbow and knee into center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach and hold. And then lower your hand, lower your foot. Take your hips back a little bit, taking your hands onto your thighs. Inhale, look forward. And then exhale and round and roll all the way up. Good. And then let's step our feet wide. As wide as you can comfortably go. Pressing into the outer line of the foot and then dropping our tailbone. Taking the hands to your hips, elbows back, chest lifted, breathe in. And then exhale, start to forward fold. Hinging at the hips, bring your hands to the chair. So lots of options here, everybody. You can bend your elbows and drop your head. You can even rest your head on the chair. You can bring your hands all the way down to the floor. And continue to drop the head and look through your legs. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let all that blood flow into your head. Breathe in. Release your spine. Release what is happening all day long, stacking the bones on top of each other. And in this position, instead, stretching them apart. Bring your right hand into center, infill your left arm up, lean in. Or remember, you can use a block. Inhale, lift up. Give all these levels. Or a chair. Breathe in. Exhale, bring it back down and switch sides. Inhale, lift. Breathe in. And lower back down. Before you come up, pull the belly in, press the feet into the floor, take your hands to your hips, and inhale, come up. And then heel toe your feet together. And then let's turn and open our feet hip distance, or well, a little bit wider than hip distance. We're gonna go into our warrior two pose. So we'll turn the left toes forward, lift up the right heel, stretch it back. And then, you know, <laughs> lengthen your legs out uh, wide enough that when you're bending your left knee, your knee ends up over your ankle. So now we're opening up the pelvis, we're extending the arms, but we're going to look over our left hand. And then turn the palms up, inhale, straight your front leg. Exhale, reach out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out and hold. And then lower your right hand. Turn your left palm up and back. Reverse warrior two. Breathe in. Inhale, come back to center. And then straighten your front leg. Drop your arms. Take a little breather. Inhale. Exhale, reach out. So we're going to slide or reach forward and bring our hand to the chair. You can bring a little bit of weight into the chair so it's not all in your knee. And we're coming into a pose called Parshva Konasana. Pull the belly in, drop your tailbone, and inhale your right arm up. Or maybe even take it over your head. Breathe in. Good. 
And then we're gonna look down at the left foot. Push the feet into the floor. Return your arms to warrior two. Breathe. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Good job. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Turn your palms towards me. Inhale your right hand forward. Exhaling into center, reach back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Then palms down, look forward. Straighten your front leg and take a reverse triangle. Inhale, reach back. come back to center. I'm going to shorten my stance a little bit. You may want to do this too. Pull your right foot in a little bit. So we'll take a little shorter stance for our triangle pose. Pull the kneecaps up. Straighten your legs. Extend your arms. Inhale, slide or reach forward. And then bring your left hand down. Lift your right hand up. So some of you may be lowering down to a block. <laughs> So if your hand is on the block, push your hand into the block and see if that helps you sort of pull that right shoulder back. Breathe in, breathe out. Looking straight ahead or down at your left foot. Inhale, reach your right hand up and out. Come back, extend your arms and turn your feet forward. Heel toe the feet closer together. Let's take the hands on top of the thighs. Inhale to a back bend, and then exhale around. Breathe in. Breathe out. And one more inhale. Exhale, roll all the way up. And then we'll switch sides. So I'm gonna bring my chair over to this side. Step my feet wide, turn the right toes forward. I'll get my block ready. So warrior two. Legs are a little longer than warrior one. We're opening up the pelvis. And we're gonna gently press the knee towards the baby toes and even have a sense of rotating this right thigh outward, outwardly. Looking forward, turning the palms up. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, push out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Gather up that nice deep breath in. Exhale, push it out and hold. And then go reverse warrior two. Breathe in. Inhale, come back to warrior two. And straighten your front leg. Drop your arms. Take a little break. And then inhale, warrior two again. Keep reaching or sliding forward. Bring your hand to the chair. Inhale your left arm up and over. So some of you might be able to bring your elbow onto your quad. And turn, look up, breathe in. Even resting your right hand on your belly will remind you to breathe into your belly. Inhale. Exhale. Look down at your right foot. Press your feet into the floor. Go back to your warrior two. And straighten your front leg. Take a little break. And then inhale, warrior two again. Turn the palms out. Bring the left hand forward. Match it up with your right hand. Exhale, draw it into your heart center. Look back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, good. And then palms down. Straighten your front leg, go reverse triangle. Inhale, hands up and overhead. Breathe in. And then come back. Dropping the hands will move that left foot in a little bit. Short, shorten your stance. Straighten your legs, pull the kneecaps up, extend your arms. The first thing we really do, aside from reaching forward, we we also sort of drop the right hip, lift the left. So you're going to drop that right hip. You're going to start sliding or reaching forward at the same time. And then lower the right hand, lift the left. Inhale. Exhale, lower. 
block should be in the outer line of the ankle. Breathe in. Decide what's best for your neck. Looking straight ahead or looking down. And then looking down, reach your left hand up and out. And come back and let's heel toe the feet a little closer together, step them together. Take another back bend here, inhale, and exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, exhale, round and roll up. Good. And then bring your chair back over um, so the higher the back of the chair is here to assist you with your balance. But we'll do a little um, hip work. Let's stand on the left leg. You can take your right hand to your hip or you can hold it out, whatever works for you. Let's um, bring all the weight onto the left leg, but when I say stand up high on the hip, I mean don't sit into your hip, right? Because that makes this leg long and easy to trip over. So we want to strengthen by lifting up, pulling in, and then we're standing up over our left leg. Take the right leg out in front of you and point and flex. Point and flex. Good. Now turn your toes out and turn them in. And out and in. Then right through center to the back. Point and flex. Good. And then keep your foot flex, bring it to center. Inhale, lift up to the side. And exhale back. Lift. Two more. Good job. And then draw the knee right up to your chest. Hug it in. Breathe in. Exhale. Take your knee out to the side. Maybe try to find your balance here. Bring it back to center. And lower it down. So we're going to stay facing forward and bring our weight down to the right leg and lift the left knee up. Take hold of the left knee with your right hand and take a little twist here. So we're just going to turn our shoulders.